All right, so up at the top on page 215, you're going to see that, again, the text feature of bold print, super important, here we go. A sports store orders four boxes of baseball caps. Each box has 40, 40, 40 caps. How many baseball caps does the store order? So friends, when we go back, when we close read, we need to pull out that important information to help our brains. So we have four boxes or groups, right? Each box has 40 caps. How many caps does the store order? So I need to model this in a way that will tell me how many baseball caps total the store orders. Now friends, we know we have four boxes or groups. We can start there. So here is one box and here is another box and here is another and yet another, okay? Four groups or boxes, right? And so each one has 40 caps. So remember what we did friends when we were talking about multiples of 10 and place value, right? Instead of using the 40 and trying to forward count, by 40, it's a little hard for our brains. So instead, what we did was we built out the model using 10 bars, right? And we did that for every single box or we're gonna call it a group. And each one of these bars, again, that's representing 10 caps. Can these models take some time to draw? Of course. Of course they can, but they do help our brains. So friends, for boxes or groups, we have four T, four zero in each. I've modeled each of those 40s with 10 bars. And so now what do we simply do? We can forward count by 10. We can forward count by 10. We can say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160. Okay. Now, keeping that in mind and keeping that in our brains, I want to show you another way, another strategy that you could do it. All right. And it's keeping in the spirit of that skip counting or forward counting by 10, because we are after all looking at multiples, multiplying with tens. So friends, you could also do this. You could start with 10. And then you could simply say 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160. What I did here inside these boxes or groups is exactly how I modeled it. This number 10 
here's a bar and here's another bar for 20 and another bar for 30 and another bar for 40 and another bar for 50. I'm doing the exact same things for my friends. I'm forward counting or skip counting by 10. I'm just modeling it and picturing it in my brain in different ways. Okay, same, same thing. So what I would like you to do, actually, I'm gonna give you a moment to make sure you get all of that written down. Give me a quick thumbs up when you're ready, if you have it all written down. Okay. Because I would like you to take a look at the following page, page 216. And you're going to see on page 216 exactly what we did on 215, where we made the models with 10 bars. So going back to the question again, this sports store ordering these four boxes of caps that each have 40 caps inside and needing to know how many caps the store ordered. So friends, you have, it's showing you four groups of four tens. Four groups of four tens, which is four times four tens or 16 tens. 16 tens is equal to, of course, 100. 60. How do I know that? Because if I want to forward count or skip count up to 16 tens, I start with my first 10, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 130, 140, 150, 160. I simply forward counted by 10, 16 times. So many different ways, friends, so many different ways that we could picture this and model this. Okay, please take a look down at the bottom of the page, this next model it. Then we're getting back to the parentheses, we're getting back to the associative property we're gonna be doing some mental math. You can see that you can start with the factors from the problem. We have four groups of 40. You can also write 40 as four times 10. Say four times four times 10. You could also change the grouping Remember what the associative property says, you can regroup the factors, it's not gonna change the product. Or you can do 16 times 10. So many different ways, friends. So, so, so many different ways you could do this. And then of course, as we talked about yesterday, the mental math piece where you are looking at 40 times four, for example, our brains for a minute can disregard that zero and take four times four, which is of course 16, and then add the zero back in. That's mental math, friends, multiplying by tens. We know when to drop the zeros and add them back in, okay? So let's come back together and we're gonna discuss this for just a minute. 